An order of service for noonday, Thursday, October 1st, 2020. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 105, 1-22. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he's done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He's always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them and rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then he called for a famine in the land and destroyed the supply of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet in fetters. His neck they put in an iron collar until his prediction came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over all his possessions, to instruct his princes according to his will and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke 6, 1 through 11. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the cornfields, his disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priest to eat, and gave some to his companions? Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might find an accusation against him. Even though he knew what they were thinking, he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, he said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. This day commemorates St. Therese of Lisieux, who lived from 1873 to 1897. Imagine you are sitting in a dimly lit chapel Candles flicker on the altar and the soft murmur of voices praying 
surround you. In the quiet, you resolve to focus completely on the prayers. You lift up your heart and immediately fall asleep. If you can identify with this, you can also identify with St. Therese of Lisieux, better known as the Little Flower. St. Therese entered a Carmelite monastery at age 15 after begging the Pope for permission. She lived the quiet, unassuming life of a cloistered nun until her death at age 24 from tuberculosis. It was only after her death that her extraordinary holiness was revealed. Although she was a saint, she was also very human. She loved the Virgin Mary, but she disliked playing, praying the rosary. She was a great mystic, but she hated retreats. She was a model of holiness, but often fell asleep during community prayer. Sometimes when we pray or meditate, especially at night, we too fall asleep. We feel embarrassed or disappointed with ourselves when this happened. But St. Therese pointed out that since parents love their children when they are awake or asleep, so also does God love us, even if we fall asleep while praying. It has been suggested that if we can't finish our prayers, we don't have to worry. An angel will finish them for us. Even if that isn't the case, no prayer is ever truly finished, for prayer is an ongoing conversation with God. If we take a little break now and then because we fall asleep, it's okay. God will be waiting when we wake up. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, that through his poverty we might be rich, deliver us from an inordinate love of this world that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant, Therese of Lisieux, may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is another day, O Lord. We know not what it will bring forth, but make us ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If we are to stand up, help us to stand bravely. If we are to sit still, help us to sit quietly. If we are to lie low, help us to do it patiently. And if we are to do nothing, let us do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give us the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.